Okay, so it's me, Will Riker, on the 21st of June, a very wet Saturday. I've only been out of bed about an hour, hence why I look rough, and also I still haven't shaved, as you can probably tell, so I'm being very, very scruffy. Before I show you all the wonderful, wonderful merchandise and everything I have, it's time for a pop quiz! I have a question. Now, this is something that's been rattling around in my noggin for a while, and it came to the fore again when I was talking to Iron Dog in chat the other week and basically there's a recent poll being, being conducted that claims that 90% of Americans believe in God doesn't mean to say they actually go to church but they believe in some supernatural, super being superman entity that created us all and blah de blah de blah now if you hold that to be true that 90% of Americans believe in a God and one of the core beliefs of religion is that God created man in his own image correct? Then my question is why does man and in particular Americans and in particular most Americans on the west coast seem to spend a majority of their time trying to redesign their bodies why do I say this? Well, teeth are not naturally bleached bright white. I mean, they just aren't. That's not the natural colour of teeth. They're not supposed to glow in the dark. Skin isn't supposed to be all leathery and orange. Which that actually opens up a whole side topic because a lot of Americans still have racial prejudice against blacks, which is coming to the fore in the current presidential election with a black man running for president. So if said group of people also have racial prejudices and don't like black people, why do they spend most of their time getting a tan or going to fake tanning places to darken their skin to make them look more like the black people that they don't like? It just doesn't add up to me. Um, also, the cosmetic surgery side of things. People are fixing their nose, they're getting a facelift, they're having a tummy tuck, they're getting their asshole bleached white because brown, oh, to me, or whatever fucking colour it is back there. Who knows? We never sell fucking assholes. Why bleach the fucking things? All of these add up, all the cosmetic surgeries and everything else, to basically saying God got it wrong. So, on one hand, they're saying, yes, I believe in God, there is a supreme being, and he guides us all and yada 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 religion 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 bullshit and then on the next hand they want bigger tits bleached white teeth orange skin a different nose a bleached asshole tummy tuck buttock implants you fucking name it they're completely trying to redesign what god made so what are they saying that they're better than god that god got it wrong what I don't know, I'm not religious, I don't believe there's a God, I believe well, you, you're here, you, you do what you do, you die, that's it. There's no eternal afterlife, there's nothing else, you're dead, that, that's it, you're dead, basically. But all these yahoos that believe in God, could somebody please explain to me what it is? Did God get it wrong, or do we just think, do the people who are, who are going in for the cosmetic surgery just believe that they know better than God, because they can redesign it better than God did in the first place? Something that's puzzled me for a while, that one. So there you go, pop quiz. Answers on a postcard, please. And on the subject of answers on a postcard, let's move on to some Morty's Twisted World merchandise. Special limited edition merchandise. You may recall, anybody who actually bothered to watch the last podcast that I did, that I showed you the fucked up fridge magnets, which were misaligned. You recall them? And I said I was going to get some bigger ones. Well, look at these buggers. How much cooler are they? They're pretty big, and as you can see, in comparison, they are remarkably bigger than the Eagle Magnets. So I have ten of these buggers already, and another ten on the way shortly, as well as other stuff. Now, I've also shown in the past note paper that I designed. It's A5 size, see, big note paper. And in with the current offers and everything I'm getting from this, this company, one of the options was I could get a notepad so I didn't actually think to check the dimensions just mug and see you notepad A5 but when it came it was smaller than I thought probably something that Iron Dog and Morty know a lot about 
getting their hopes up and finding out that it's actually smaller than they thought. <laughs> Anywho, this is the pad. It's like a telephone size notepad, but you see it has the more, it's just about the top and the bottom, and it's you know proper telephone notepad. Much smaller than the A5 size I had imagined, but pretty nifty for free nonetheless. And I'm going to get a few more of those and I'll be sending them out to people or as prizes or whatever because you know it spreads the word. I've kept the best to last. I really like these. So from the same company I was getting all the freebies and notepads and all the other shit from. I noticed had brochures. Now to buy the brochures is really fucking expensive. It's like £20 which is give or take $40 for just 25 of them which is pretty fucking steep but I could get 25 for free now what keeps happening is I order stuff for free and all I pay is the carriage then they send me an email saying they've got all this stuff for free and if I go back through I can order the same stuff again for free and just pay the carriage so it's sort of a never ending cycle all I'm paying is the carriage and getting all this shit for nothing so I'm going to keep on doing this and build up quite a stock of my own MTW merchandise here that I can use for prizes, dish out, promote the site and so on. So currently I have 25 of these with another 25 in transit and I'm going to correct one slight error on the back and order another 25 which you know they'll start to build up. It's Morty's Twisted World leaflets see glossy glossy leaflets with all the stuff on and the URL and on the back it has all the blurb and tells you all about the site and everything else and then you open it up and it has stuff inside about the contests. See, it says contests. And there's Purple Dragon in the leaflet. Some bullet points about the type of thing you can find on the site. And then you open it right up inside. And there's some more about Morty's. And there's Morty and the Chump. Chump gets a plug as well, so you can read that next to the blurred. I'm not really focusing the camera. But it has the Chump's website. And some more information there. And then you move across to the other panel, and all about the MTW Empire and the man who started it all, Mr. Mortimer at the bottom. I know I could have used a better picture, but what the hell, I think that one's quite funny, so that's what I went with. So I have those leaflets, and I'm going to be getting more of them. I just thought they were quite nifty, and I will show them to you, and I've been wanting to do a podcast, well, for a while, for another week. Have to thank Haley. How fucking awesome was that podcast? She said it was shit made me laugh and damn what a sexy voice she's got but we'll leave that for now um see I say that because Kelly's not here because Kelly would kill me if she was here she's actually out getting rained upon um but that's proof of how easy it is Haley did once sat down at a mic just rambled for a while you don't need to worry about I don't know how to post it on the website or I don't know how to put the tune at the beginning you don't need to do any of that shit sit with a mic record it Save the sound file as an MP3 or whatever. Send it to Morty, Max, or myself. We'll do the fancy beginning end. We'll upload it to the server. We'll even post it for you if you want. All you need to do is sit and talk. It's that easy. You've got a microphone. You've got a computer. Let's be honest. If you visit Morty's Twisted World, you're at least competent enough to know how to switch a computer on and find your way to a website. That's the assumption. If you can do that, you can plug a fucking microphone in click record and sit and talk for two, three, four, five minutes and we all have an opinion on Morty's we all like to talk despite what you might say it's easy people and you know it would just, it's fun, it's fun, everybody likes podcasts, everybody likes listening to them yes it's embarrassing at first to sit and talk to yourself for however long but you know it amuses the rest of us twisted monkeys Right, that's it. I'm out here. Doctor Who will be on the TV. If actually, Doctor Who will be on the TV now. So I'll go and watch him off my Sky Plus hard drive. Because, yes, I am just that geeky. And I'm out of here for a while. Catch you on the site sometime. Maybe, possibly, I don't fucking know. Bye bye. More fun than a swift kick to the nuts. Free Swifted World.